Let's take a look how to make this wavy pattern here in Photoshop. Step one, let's go to the shapes and long click, select the rectangle tool. I'm gonna go up and draw a rectangle like this. And let's go to the fill, click on the fill at the properties and select this gradient. Now from 90 degrees, we're gonna decrease it to zero. I'm gonna position it on the left, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, make sure to intersect. I gotta select both, press and hold out again, duplicate and do the same thing multiple times until you fill up the page. Okay, so right now it looks something like this. We're gonna need to fill in this part also. I gotta select all of it, right click, cover the smart object, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift, stretch it out. Now we're gonna apply some effects. Let's go to the filter, distort and let's select the shear. And all you need to do is here is just drag these and it's going to distort the shape. I'm going to pull this here. So the settings going to need to be something like this. I also going to pull this stop one on the left and bring it more in. So I did it somewhere in this style. Click OK. Let's go to the filter again distort and select wave. Now make sure that the number of the generator here is on one. I'm gonna increase the wavelengths. Now take in mind that these settings really depends on the size of your artboard. Okay, so let's go on. I'm gonna bring the amplitude somewhere here. I'm gonna push the bottom one all the way up. And you can see here it created this really bubbly effect, which I think it looks really cool. Or you can test out, you know, some different tricks in here. And at the scale, I'm gonna bring down the first one. And this way it is going to create these choppy wavy effects. Let me see the wavelength. Look at that. So it's making it more rare. This is really nice. I'm gonna adjust it in a way that looks good. I'm gonna also adjust this one. Click OK. And now we're gonna go and add some gradients. Go to the adjustments, scroll down, select the gradient map. Click on the gradient. First is gonna be black. Click here. I'm gonna double click on the pin, select the blue. Click OK. Add another one somewhere here. Double click. I'm gonna go with something more orange ish. Click OK and click here, double click and select the yellow. So this is going to be the first one. Click OK and I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate and select the top layer. Click on the gradient and we're going to customize this as well. I'm going to bring the blue here, the red. I'm going to change the red to something more orange like that. Click OK and the yellow is going to be somewhere here. Double click and I also going to make this a little bit more orange and make it more light. Click OK, click OK, and go to the bottom gradient on this one and click on Reverse, and it's gonna look something like this. You also can uncheck the first gradient. You're gonna get some more vibrant colors, or you can check it and decrease the opacity to play around. Oh wow, this is actually way better. And this is how the final result looks like. Thanks for watching.